Hello wonderful people and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. My name is Sandra, if you're just meeting me for the first time. So today happens to be my altar day. And it happens to be on a Wednesday. Yes, every Wednesday is my altar day. I chose Wednesday because it is a day of light. And I am one of those people that believe that if you set out, if you set apart um, Wednesdays to pray, you know, as a day that you just ha spend with the Lord, especially when you are this kind of person that prays for other people. It is a day of light. The Lord always shines His light towards every prayer said on a Wednesday. Especially, it is the day of light. So, over here, I just woke up this morning and then I proceeded to, first of all, take my Bible. Earlier before now, if you looked closely, you're going to see my bell and my anointing oil. These are my weapons of warfare to the glory of God Almighty alone. So, I proceeded to, you know, go through my Bible just for a few minutes and then I needed to stand up to pray I choose any position of my choice whenever I want to pray I am not one of those people that say you must kneel down you must this you must that no I choose any position of my choice whenever so I want to greatly pray. to be praised you are beautiful in all situations you are the joy of the whole earth and you are the great and mighty God, so greatly to be praised, beautiful in all situations. You are the joy of the whole earth. Ah, thank you, Shelton. Please wait. One of the reasons why I always sleep in my parlor, especially on Tuesday night stroke Wednesday midnight that I pray, is because of my husband yes not on the negative side though sometimes he'll get when he gets back to work he'll be so tired and i wouldn't want to disturb him sometimes whenever he hears me praying he will you know come and join me but on this day he was so so tired so i had to move to the parlor so that i don't get to disturb him so these are my duvets that i used to sleep on the parlor these two duvets are specially specially for me <laughs> they are like they call these two duvets mommy's blanket in this house mommy's duvet because whenever i want to do a set apart i carry them to the parlor so i just finished packing my duvet and my pillow and then i proceeded to open up everywhere because the house was still very dark and there was no light so i opened up everywhere and then while doing this i had it in mind to start taking a special slim tea that i bought I believe it was special because of the testimonies and the reviews I saw on, you know, online when I I went to buy from that place. So I said I proceeded to get them. These are the two slim teas, one coffee and the other one is slim tea. And you guys already know I love taking coffee. So I proceeded to make it, then entered my room to inform my husband that I'll be going outside. Abby, yes, was that what I did here? Yes, it was too early in the morning. It was too quite early on a saturday morning so i proceeded to go outside to go and you know chill and just with my mom because like i told you guys my mom has been in my house for over one month now so i grabbed a seat sat down under the tree and proceeded to respond to voice messages people sent me on whatsapp prayer requests um you know other chats you know going through the internet to see your dressing dressing has killed the end time church you enter you see an usher dressed like a harlot at the post receiving people people that came with jesus the moment they enter church they will lose jesus because a, a prostitute just received them. Hey guys, after taking this, my slim tea, right? That I bought on Instagram from a vendor, from a slimming tea vendor. <laughs> I really need to sleep, but then, see my eyes. From my eyes, you can tell that I didn't get enough sleep last night. But I'm currently cooking. 
I'm cooking plantain and um, have a jumbi so on fire that I'll still drink. Then I'm cooking plantain for my parents so that I'll use it and pound fufu now. Yes, that's for my mom and my dad. This morning I don't want to eat any heavy food because I drank this my slim tea. Yeah, let me show you guys. Let me show you guys what I have on fire, especially the Ajun Bisa. I know some of you don't know what Ajun Bisa is. So I'll show you. So this is my plantain that I'm boiling. I'll turn it to fufu. For when I'm back to Minka. Okay, so this is the Ajun Bisa I talked about earlier. This is what it looks like. We started taking this one from yesterday. Me, myself myself my mom and my dad this is also very very good for aged people yes so it's not just for what is it called for you know menstrual cramps so all those you know list of things that it cures but i'm also taking it to lose weight because it helps with tummy fat yep i didn't I didn't add anything to this one because of my parents, especially my mom that has an uh, ulcer, stomach ulcer. So I didn't want anything that would upset her ulcer. Of course, you guys know how good this is This is for ulcer now. So I'm taking it now to detox myself. This big bag you're looking at here is filled with Ajun Bise. See it? This is Ajun Bise inside all of this bag. Hmm? Can you see? Can you see? This is Ajun Bise. That is what I have inside this big bag. You're looking at this corner. Have you read Proverbs 7 verse 10? And behold, there met him a woman with a tire of an halot. Do you see halot have an attire? See our plantain fufu? Spot our plantain fufu. Huh? See the way I made it. This is how I make it though, like at least two, three times every week for my parents. When you have parents in us only, this is what you get, man. Ah, this looks so yummy. Come back here. The way he pushes this thing around there. This boy has got too much energy. Oh yeah, come. Come. Come, take. Take. <laughs> he wants to get water now to drink so that he will have energy. Okay. He's coming to give me the water. Water. You want water? <laughs> Wait, water. water. <laughs> so that you have energy to continue pushing your bicycle. Emmanuel, you're so stubborn. Come back here. Take. Come back here. <laughs> <laughs>
Hi guys, Sammy, reduce the volume. I know that to some of you, eh, this video should not end. <laughs> Especially the music lovers like me, or oh, those that love to dance unto the glory of the Lord. Anyways, this is me ending this video. Hmm? You know, when I mean, if I leave this video, it will be so long. This, like, I was so happy editing this video because it was all about praising God. Trust me. Hmm? It was all about praising God. Ah, honestly speaking, I am so excited. Mm -hmm. It was a massive day at the church, morning session, evening session, you know, and then we concluded with praise at last. To so many of you that has praised God with us, may God meet you at the point of your needs in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let me also use this opportunity because that day I was like, that day that we went for this uh, service, I was burdened. My heart was, I was so burdened in my heart. Almost, I almost didn't go. But at some point I said, mm, let me go. But guess what? In less than one week, God lifted that burden of my heart. So, in whatsoever situation you find yourself, whatever situation you find yourself i don't know who i'm talking to but i know i am talking to somebody no matter the situation hmm, cultivate the attitude of praising god make it an attitude of saying thank you to god no matter what you're facing i'm believing god that as we do this him alone that praises makes to rise from his throne. We we'll meet each other one of us at the point of our needs in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And of course, hmm, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.